Well, hi, Jeff Shore, author of Be Bold and Win the Sale. Welcome back to Self Leadership for Salespeople, Five Ways to Be Your Own Best Boss. And we're in lesson two here. I want to talk about drawing a map. I was recently on vacation in Costa Rica and I climbed a mountain called Cerro Chato. It was a, a very aggressive climb and very difficult, but I was also the first person out. It was seven in the morning and there would be a lot of people on that trail, on that path, on that hill to climb to the top of that mountain. Uh, but I went out alone first. So what do I want? I'm in foreign territory. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going. So what's going to be most important to me? Well, the most important thing for me is to consult a map, but not just any map a good quality map, a map with plenty of detail so that at any point in time I could look at it and say, this is where I've been, this is where I am, that's where I'm going. The map serves as a guiding path and also as a way to be able to mark my progress all along the way. So it's not just having a map, it's having a good quality map. What you need, if I could say so, is a good quality career map. So on the last video, we talked about the idea of writing a mission statement. That mission statement tells you where you want to go. But now it's time to draw a map which points out the steps of how to get there. Now there are two ways to draw a good map for your career. The first one is to start where you are right now and map out all of the steps until you get to your destination. And I can promise you right now that's a frustrating way to go about it. I think the far better way to do this is to think through where you want to be. Picture yourself there mentally and then ask yourself, what were the steps that got me here? Now that little change in your mindset will make a huge difference because you will be writing those steps from the position of confidence as if you've already accomplished your target rather than writing the steps from the very beginning of the journey when it's a little gray and a little fuzzy as to how that's going to work. So I want to recommend that you do two things. First of all, take that time to picture where you are in that advanced form of your career. What does your career look like? And I want you to feel it as if you've already accomplished it. And then ask that simple question, all right, what were the steps that brought me here? What did I need to do? What did I need to do in regards to preparing myself, in regards to the conversations that I have to, uh, with others, in regards to increasing my education, in regards to expanding my horizons and being able to get a different vantage point of the journey. And all of those things collectively will help you to get from the beginning to the end. So start there. Get to the finish line, get that mental image clear in your brain, and then from there ask the question, what were the specific steps that brought me to this point? Draw a map. Draw a good quality map. It will show you how to change your own world. <laughs>